Okay, one, the wife is making a very long phone call. I have to start. If you can hear her, I'm sorry. Apologies on her behalf. What is it? My behalf? I'm not sure. Two, the neighbors are making a lot of noise. If you can hear them, I need to start. Apologies on their behalf. Three, it's threatening to rain out here, but still, I need to start. So if you can hear the rain, apologies on its behalf. So today we're going to talk about one of the most awesome productivity apps that I have come to learn and use. And it has really changed the way I do things. It's called Notion. Notion is basically a productivity stroke organizer, stroke calendar, stroke to-do list. Basically, it's this all-in-one productivity app. It provides wikis, it provides Kanban boards, it provides calendars, it provides to-do lists, it provides databases. Basically, a lot of different styles of organizing data that you might think of. Now, Notion is very powerful and useful. You can use it from as simple as just taking notes to managing a whole team or even a project and databases. Basically, all kinds of stuff that you can think about are probably covered, especially when it comes to productivity. Now, before we proceed any further, I have just mentioned some two ways of organizing information that I'd like to expound on a little bit before we get into the depths of Notion. But as always, before we go further, you guys know that we do what over here. Now let's talk about the Kanban board. Kanban is basically from Japanese meaning visual signal. It's a visual representation of a workflow. Now, if we take an example of a project, we can organize our workflow on a board, be it a physical board or a digital board. Now, various pieces of information can be placed on that board, on those columns, maybe to a certain limit per column. And that will give like a visual cue to the team that is working on that project that now this task is in the completed stage. This task is still in progress. I guess you can picture it. That is what a Kanban board is. Then there is a wiki. I'm sure you've heard that from Wikipedia. Basically, information can also be organized in a way that uh, different pieces of information are layered out and they can be edited or more information can be added by members of a team. Now, all these styles of organizing information are available on Notion. You can just decide what fits you best, what you like best and go for it. Okay, now with that out of the way, before we progress any further, do you need to buy Notion? I personally don't. I use the free version. The free version is very powerful. Initially, they had a limit of, I think, a thousand blocks, like pieces of information that you can put in before you have to pay. So right now in the free version, you can basically put in an unlimited amount of information. You can collaborate with a small team of about five people. You can sync it across devices. For example, at the moment I'm making this video using bullet points that I have basically written over here on my tablet on Notion. And once I have saved my information on Notion, it will be available even next week after a month and so on. And I can always find it on my laptop. I can find it on my tablet, on my phone. If I had a smartphone, you guys know that I don't have a smartphone. Link, 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 link. Oh, and if you've not seen that video, it's probably because you've not subscribed. In that case, as always, welcome to the family. Click the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell that's just next to it so that you don't miss it when I upload another digital life or productivity video. Thank you. Now over here we're on Notion. This is how the app looks like. And uh, basically what you can see here is called a workspace. And uh, you can do multiple workspaces. You can join another workspace if maybe someone else has created a workspace and they have invited you to join. Uh, this is my workspace called Dickens. It's basically my personal workspace where I manage this YouTube channel. Under this workspace, you have various pages. As you can see here, I have a page called Ideas, another page called Scripts, another page called Video Projects, another place called checklists and another page called yt descriptions blah 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 now once you create the page on notion you can see basically a lot of information can be saved here 
for example these are my ideas for videos that i might make so anytime i think of an idea out there on the street i basically just take out my tablet rush into notion and yeah that is it so you can use a blank page like if i came over here new empty page and you just write anything there be it text you can put an image you can put a video a link and so on you can also use templates for example over here i already have a template called idea when i come to notion i have an idea in mind i just come and say new idea and it brings me a page that is already populated with the kind of information i'd like to put in and all these things can be edited for example i when i have an idea let's say i want to make a video about uh what about new fonts in 2020 i'm not going to make that so i'm just giving an example now if i already had a script or i want to already create a script right now i could just choose it from over here if i don't have that i could just click here and it will create a new script called new fonts so you can see how it works and uh, then i could say that this video i want it to be a live video maybe i'll come live or it will be a vlog now on this template i have a section for notes where i can make a few notes about whatever idea i have in mind and i have another section for resources where i can paste images links and so on as you can see i already have here a lot of my ideas listed some of them have notes and links and so on you can also sort out all this information via nearly any way you want you can decide to sort them first by the video type you can decide to add another sort like name for example so now that's my ideas page once i have the idea and i have made some rough notes about it for some videos i might actually write the whole script for other videos like this specific one that you're watching right now i might just use the bullet points and get in and start recording the video but if i want to write a script I have here a page for scripts where as you can see all the scripts that I have used are listed. So if I wanted to make a whole script again this is where I would go. I have a template for scripts as you can see here new scripts template. For example here is the script that I used in that last video day in the life of a youtuber slash doctor link 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 link. Next on this other page I have video projects. These are now all my videos that I have made so far can see here this is presented in a table format videos that are completed you can see i have marked them here as completed in fact this one is completed so yeah let me change it to completed sure again i have them linked to their scripts for those that have scripts you can see here these are the scripts next we have checklists again an interesting way to just make sure that every time you want to do your stuff, you are well organized is to have checklists, you know. For example, if I wanted to edit a video, just come to my editing checklist here. It helps me make sure that all the steps I need to take when editing a video are actually done so that I don't forget and skip something. And as you can see on the checklist page, the information is organized in checkboxes. When I'm done with the second stage of editing, I click this and that's checked out. At the end of the project, I just clear them and I have my checklists ready for the next project. So you get the point. That is basically how Notion helps me organize my YouTube workflow. And that's how Notion operates. Basically, anything you create can be done within a page. In fact, you could make a page within another page. As an example, if I typed that I am happy, I could decide that I want to add a table here. So I just click the stroke and... Uh, add to a table inline and that is a table i can also decide that i want to mention someone if we're working on this as a team so i just go here and do at you know here yeah, i'm alone so dickens so manga so anytime you're on your page and you click stroke it gives you all these kinds of information that you can put in and this is basically what is called blocks you could even use the Kanban boards. Did I show you how it looks like? Let me show you how that would look like on my video projects, for example. This is the default view, as you can see, is a table, but I could uh, change it to status view. This status view, as you can see, is actually a Kanban board. All the videos that I have completed, as you can see, are listed here like cards. And if I had a video that is in the script writing stage, its card would be over here. If I had a video that is in the research stage, its card would be over here. 
So you get how the Kanban board visually gives you an idea of your workflow. And as you may already tell, there's nothing that is perfect. Even Notion has some cons. For example, one, there's a learning curve, especially setting up the databases. If it's your first time, it will take you some time. Number two, not everything is free. A lot can be done on the free version. It's perfectly fine for me. But if you had some special need or some very powerful need or you are a team of a lot of people might have to pay. Okay, guys, that is it for today. That's basically an overview of Notion. It's my favorite and most used productivity app this year, 2020. If you have any questions, as always, we meet in the comment section below. Click that like button if you found value in this video and see you in the next one. As always, no pressure.